Car dealer service departments have done a lot to make their experience a lot better lately. First of all, you can schedule your appointment on an app or even on an app in the dashboard these days. And once you get there, there's a nice waiting room, big screen TV, espresso machine, donuts, and loaner cars and shuttle services. Well, they're sort of yesterday's idea of convenience. But they haven't solved for the real problem of going to the service department. Going to the service department. I just don't want to do that. I got my own TV, an espresso machine, and donuts at home. And that's exactly where I want my car serviced. Which is why companies like Wrench, formerly called Autobots, and Your Mechanic bring the service lane to you. Unlike some local mechanics that have long done local mobile work, these services aim to normalize the idea, approaching national coverage with pre-quoted pricing and a modern online booking experience. We tried Your Mechanic to do an oil change, air filter change, tire rotation, and general inspection of our sexy 06 Chevy van. Exactly the kind of routine service most of us hate to make time to book and take our car in for. And a great test to see if our technician would fall asleep from sheer boredom. Now it's going to get pretty loud. That's good. We like sound. <laughs> Don't we? Our technician, Leo, showed up on time and got to work. He's a master certified ASC tech with 39 years of experience, so we weren't dealing with a shade tree mechanic. Typically, you know, I always review a job uh, the day before as to what I'm going to need for it. This is my bone creeper. That's all the fine stuff. Torque wrenches, I'm going to need this electric impact gun. We have master technicians on staff that review their skills, we review their tools, we set what they're skilled for, then our platform instantly matches the best mechanic for your particular job. Today's air filter, oil change, and tire rotation came to $134, a good price in San Francisco, and preset when I booked, not unlike an Uber ride, and the payments handled automatically as well. Now, there were no critical parts to judge the quality of on this particular job, but I did see brand name oil go in. We use Castrol, and we only use Castrol. We like this stuff. And these services will use a combination of new OEM and aftermarket, as well as reconditioned parts sometimes to make the appointment and get the job done. You should see a parts description when you book your appointment. Customer satisfaction with auto repair has been pretty low because it's a very opaque experience. You take your car to a shop, they call you later and tell you how much it's going to cost. Your car is already there. So it's a very hard experience to get it out of that shop, take it somewhere else if you don't like the price. Now, the mobile repair services say they can pretty much fix your car anywhere, except here. You've got to be on a flat surface when the tech arrives for both jacking safety as well as for accurate fluid fill and check. And getting your car fixed while it's sitting here idly wasting its day while you're in there working sounds great, right? Except you might run into some problems with the corporate landlord. A lot of them don't like their parking lot being turned into an ad hoc car repair pop-up. We try to limit it to what your neighbors would tolerate, the way that I think about it. Your neighbors aren't going to be happy if you're pulling the block out of, you know, out, of, out of your car and it's sitting out there for six, seven hours while we're fixing your car. So we generally end at timing belts, serpentine belts, jobs that take two to three hours. If we see a transmission needs to be done, if we see that we need to pull the block out, we'll tell the customer they need to take it into a shop. Your mechanic says they can do some 600 jobs in the field. Wrench says it can handle 80% of what a shop can do. Both warranty their tech's work and parts for 12 months or 12,000 miles, with their option to either fix it again on the house or just refund you your money. Now, you might think any tech who works in a shop can throw his tools in a truck, take out a Craigslist ad, and be in the mobile repair business. Yes and no. What these new services are really doing, like so many things these days, is solving a data problem. Getting you and the right appointment matched up with the right tech who's available at that time, making sure the price is quoted and everybody does okay on that, and getting the parts ready just in time for the tech to pick up so he's not screwing around chasing those all day. It's a lot of efficiencies and orchestration. We're essentially talking about a mashup of Uber, an airline, and UPS with some grease thrown in. <laughs>